So the question ha happens, uh, you know, the, the next most common question I think I get is what happens when osimertinib stops working? And that unfortunately is something that we see. Um, and the reason this happens is, you know, the cancer cells find a way to get around the drug. Um, cancer cells are smart and they're smart because they're a part of you. And the way they get around this drug is they can develop a different mutation so that now the on signal is turned on through a different pathway than EGFR. So turning off the EGFR pathway doesn't seem to matter anymore. Um, sometimes cancer cells uh, become a different type of cancer entirely. So instead of non-small cell, rarely it becomes something called a small cell or even a squamous cell ca um, cancer. But you'll see in the pie graph on the right, unfortunately about 40 to 50% of the time, despite our best efforts, we still don't really quite understand what is happening uh, that makes the osimertinib stop working. So what are our next treatment options after osimertinib? I think it's always important to consider getting a new biopsy and this can be done uh, in tissue if it's an area that's safe to biopsy and easily accessible or through the blood because we now have technologies where you can draw a patient's blood and they're sent to special laboratories around the country and they're able to look at the tumor cells in the blood and run tests on that. And for me, I want to see one, if the EGFR mutation is still there, because that means maybe there's a role for us to continue the osimertinib. And two, if another mutation has developed, meaning has a different on signal uh, occurred in the meantime. We know now that if we see on the scans that if only one or two spots are growing, um, or, you know, it, it, the, the growth is not very significant, we can actually consider radiation or surgery to try to get rid of those tricky spots. So, it, you know, it's kind of like uh, you see a weed in your otherwise nice lawn, you pluck out that weed and your know, lawn still looks great. And you can continue the osimertinib because it's keeping everything else in check. However, if on the scans, you know, the doctor feels that the, the number of spots that are growing are just too many, or now you're having new spots, then at that point, we would consider switching to chemotherapy. And if the EGFR mutation is still there, I would sometimes continue the osimertinib. Or as always, I always, always encourage participation on a clinical trial if that's available, because we're always looking for a better solution. I know that there's a lot of commercials on television for immunotherapy. So these are drugs like pembrolizumab, which is Keytruda, Nivolumab, which is Optivo, Dervalumab, which is Infimzy. And certainly these drugs have changed how we treat non-small cell lung cancer. But we see that for patients with EGFR mutated non-small cell lung cancer, immunotherapy really doesn't seem to be beneficial even if we add chemotherapy to it. So as a normal standard of care, I wouldn't go to immunotherapy um, right after osimertinib stops working.